Hello, Libra. Don't mind the change. Management called and said the things had to be rearranged, so I'm adding more stuff to my board. So I'm using my other board for right now. How are y'all doing? This is your September read. Libra, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So check your charts, y'all. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game, right? It won't work if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will. You never really know, right? Life's just full of surprises, after all. If you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all in the description box below. First reading's on the house. Everything else comes with the price after that, of course. It's also listed below. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Ew. Plenty popped up for you, Libra. Let's see. We'll start with this Hi, kitten. You're all in my space. <laughs> you got the two swords, man. That's all your energy. You need to make a choice um, about an emperor right here in this situation. Now, there is some sorrow of wanting and wishing. You might be mourning something that's gone now, and your obstacle and challenge is not to communicate or reach out, or someone's not reaching out or communicating to you. Now, here you are, king of swords in your power. But well, you are afraid to be in your power. And I don't know why. Hmm. Interesting. What's bringing this shit full circle? How it started and how it will end this cycle. Battle time. Someone is going to fight some shit off. I don't know if it's the energy because of like... It could be an Aquarius you're dealing with too who's not communicating with you. Or vice versa. Remember, cross watchers, switch where necessary. You know? Same with the main sign as well. Don't come in here saying I'm reading for the wrong person or that's not the way the story goes because I don't know that until you tell me. And that's something I do not need to know. I am just a messenger. Besides, if you know that it's wrong, just switch it around and it'll work just fine, right? Right. Hey, kitten. So, like... I know you want to let... Yeah, that's good. You lay down. There we go. Just don't dig in my flesh if you fall off, okay? Because I will hurt. Yeah. There we go. Here, bless these for me. Thank you. Okay. So, like, anyway. The beginning theme for y'all is... You are not waiting for something. Or something's not waiting for you. Like, an energy is being ceased. Or cut off or something, but it's just not happening anymore. Here, bless these two while you're here. Thank you. My kitten is good for blessings. Aren't you? There you are. Yes, you are. I don't know where the fat one is. But he is somewhere. You guys never get to see him because, like, he's too fat to get up here. But he doesn't try anyway. He used to sit in my lap, and now he doesn't do it anymore. It makes me sad. Probably because there's not a lot of people around either. That was the only time he was really that affectionate with me was when I was living with a bunch of people and had him. Anyway, let's see Libra. You have some choice to make about this lack of communication or reaching out. and it, But there's a fear of you being in your power with it. Or speaking your mind almost. Or talking the truth right here with the King of Swords. Which is like kind of crazy for you. Because like you guys usually say whatever. Well, you also tend to, like, say the exact opposite of what another person's saying, just to be contrarian, but that's also how you argue, because you're worried about balance so much. Like, I don't know, you guys always have a hard time with that. It's like, nothing can ever be, like, perfect with you guys. Like, if it's a little bit this way or a little bit that way, it's a problem. Now, this emperor right here in this situation, he seems like he's got control and dominion over everything, but he's got some sorrows he's been trying to fight off, as well as this lack of communication. So what's up with this two of swords? What's the decision that needs to be made? Jesus! Fuck! Okay. Totally Libra. Alright, so you guys are trying to pick whether you should pick or not. You have no idea which coin to choose. You were going in your head about going in your head about this. 
We were literally debating if she, we should even debate this or not. But it only bothers you because you don't know anything about it. As a... Oh, that's Cap got Capricorn sign in it. So that's kind of energy. It's like picking and... It's like that black and white thinking, I guess. It's like, what is the value of this compared to that? Which is like, yeah, that makes sense. This emperor person right here has the seven of coins in this situation. Um, Taurus's energy is a simple uh, production, reaping. So this emperor could definitely produce some shit, right? Could be an Aries. Could also be a Leo. Uh, I want to think there's another sign that can go with the emperor, but I can't never remember what it is. Maybe it's you, Libra. Like, this could be you in this scenario. Like, you're finally producing some shit. Which you guys need to, because it seems like you guys are having a really hard time with things. There's still some sorrow in the wants and wishes, like you're missing something. Something you believed in, something you love, something you cherish. A little bit of everything that's just making you question yourself. And it's pouring the cups onto you. Ten of coin? Treasure, discovery... Like something precious? You're missing something precious? Something that might have made you feel completed? Maybe a family setting of some sort? Like, we got a lion and a lioness down here. He's kind of just walking, looking at shit. She's just leaping down. She's probably, like, gonna hit one of the pentacles on the way down, but she's cool with it because it's a fun ride. You know? Just enjoying themselves. There's also birds in here as well. Let's see. This lack of communication right here is because of, like, distance and ether. It's like, whatever happened with these cups, the five of cups, mind you, the four of cups is up above. Um, it's like there's a lack of connection. Like, there's already, like, no reaching out with the um, star, and the star is all about, like, the ethereal. Um, maybe touching people in the astral plane would feel like there's so much distance here now. It's like, you, you like... A separation of sorts. It's like you can't feel the other person? What? Okay, well. That's a weird way of putting the guys, but I guess so. Maybe that's what you want to say. That's, those are my dudes, my guides. Like, they just happen to spit some stuff out at me. It's like, oh, okay. Alright. Oh, Jesus, kitten. You're probably going to have to, like, get me a little bit. No? Okay. Alright. <laughs> so, alright. Okay. You are afraid to stand in your power when it comes to a lack of strength. Could be Leo, endurance, fortitude. Maybe you don't feel like you have the strength to do what you need to do. Or maybe you're dealing with a Leo who's just pissing you off. Or you're afraid to confront him because it's like of restrictions, of lust. Um, what's another one? Vices. That's not the word I'm thinking of. Like, could you all hold me out for a minute? Because I know what I'm thinking of, but I can't remember it. Not guilt. It's not guilt, but it has something to do with, the, with it. Um, gluttony. Yes, thank you. Gluttony. Gluttony. Someone might be um, indulging too much, is what it is. So you might be dealing with somebody like that, Libra. God damn it. And the Seven of Wands, you're actually fighting off the indecision. You're fighting off symmetry, poise. It's like, what you're fighting isn't balanced. Or the way you're fighting it is making it unbalanced. But that's weird, because if, if you don't have enough strength up here... How do you have strength down here? How do you, like, are you wasting all your time fighting something else off instead of the actual problem? Hmm. Intriguing. I have to see. What's the ending theme, please? Thank you very much. King of Swords, reverse. Uh, Dominion, mastery. Look at your eyes. It's so, they're so harsh. There's a lot of, like, um, dominion, yes, but of what, at, at what cost? Because you're not, like, that harshness in you, 
that bitterness, that um, resentment almost. Like, just looking soulless. <laughs> like a really mean bird who pecks at you if you get too close to his cabinet or his cage. Just being like, ah! Ah! And just, uh, like, mock talking people and shit and all the, Like, just a really creepy fucking bird. That's all I gotta say. A creeper bird. Right? You're kidding. I gotta get up a second. I'm sorry. I will bring you back to my lap when I have returned. Sorry, I gotta go grab something else. But it's like, y'all are, um... Looking really dark with it, you know? Like, there's a lot of tension. Focus. Um intent behind his eyes, right? But that intention is all just... It's harsh, I'll say. It's harsh and it's almost based on... Oh god, how do I put this? Um... Let's see. How do I put this, guys? Because this right here, mastery domina domination, it's like, to what extent? Because the emperor is already over here. What extent are you exerting this? To not wait anymore for something, you know? Are you mad because you don't have control of it? Or are you losing control by taking too much control? Because it seems like there's a great harshness with this bird. Like, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's weird. Like, these cards are coming up as... Oh, this is the wrong deck. Shit. I always do that, I swear. I usually do it on Gemini's videos. Not meaning to. Okay, other deck. Alright, but it seems like, um... There's a strong harshness with him. With this whole, I don't want to wait for something anymore. I'm going to go get what's mine or something? Is that what... Is that what we're saying right now? Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, what's coming up for this first row, Libra? Secrets came out that someone might be. That's the Nine of Pentacles, but it's like creativity. Um. Uh, Artistry, it traditionally talks about self, establishing self, so someone didn't establish themselves in some sort of project or investment they put into, or something failed with them, to the point where they got a little bit broken, they gotta sell their piano. Like, that's how broke they are, they gotta sell that damn piano. Uh, someone's coming out of the um, dream world to see some things, like they went in there for a second, I realized they wanted to stick around for some reason. Or maybe they realized it was all a dream to stick around. Because it's like she's floating over there while she's fucking asleep. Like she doesn't even know she keeps going there. And it's like, yeah, I better not. You know, I better not. Um, the sun, Leo, once again, there's happiness here. And uh, somebody who's very stable, King of Pentacles. Who is looking like a victor and has people supporting them. Hmm. I think if you're managed to, like, kinda? I'm not sure what this is, Libra. Like, like hey. Uh, what is this? Like, you find your happiness with uh, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, maybe? And they look like a victor to you. But it's like when you come out of the dream, like, you see them over here. But when you're asleep, you keep going over here. Where are you going? I don't know. But that's the reading I got for y'all. So, if you want to... Well, no. No. No, because I already said that. I already said that. So, if you want to like, share, subscribe, you can do that instead. No pressure, of course. But I would greatly appreciate it. Little old me. Don't have to do it, though. No worries. But I will see you guys later, and I love you to pieces. Bye-bye.